Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I did say I'd bring you some updates. The widely anticipated interview between Harry and Meghan and Oprah, as we all know, will air tomorrow, US time, Monday, UK time. The Guardian has billed this interview as a symbolic moment. A moment when Meghan and Harry leave the royal family and become Hollywood elite. That is how symbolic the Guardian feels this interview is going to be. Now, I've always said, and I'm going to maintain, I feel that this was all planned from the beginning. I feel this interview will be nothing more than popcorn to watch. Meghan had all the key players at her wedding. Her and Harry, Oprah, Amel, George Clooney, these were all key players. Elton John, they were key players. They were going to play a key role in helping Harry and Meghan succeed in what it is they wanted, which was to exit the royal family by any means necessary. Guys, we've really got to understand here that Harry in the United States is really relatively not that well known. Although he is a member of the royal family, he's still not that well known in the United States. And he needed a profile. And what better way to achieve it by standing on the shoulders of his older brother and his family members. But what I feel they simply did not anticipate was Prince Philip becoming very ill. And the Queen slightly breaking with her usual mantra of never complain and never explain, launching an investigation into Meghan's bullying. Now we know that she upset Kate while Kate was in fact heavily pregnant. We're also told by Meghan herself she suffered a miscarriage last year in July. Now this is a woman that is pregnant and you think that she'd be slightly more careful and try and avoid as much stress as possible but oh no not Megan she's not trying to do that at all I have been told the US press are really focused on the royal palace and they believe that there has been a smear campaign against Megan I really don't know how this interview is going to be aired and how the British monarchy are going to be portrayed. But these two guys have signed a deal with Netflix that does air the crown. We know what kind of representation the royal family receive in that show. They do not come off well at all. So I would say that this is simply a full circle situation here. Kelly Goff, US columnist, believes that Meghan has suffered racism, classism at the hands of the British monarchy and press. I would say to Kelly Goff, who, by the way, is an American columnist, Meghan Markle makes racism look like a joke. If we are to take seriously a biracial woman that chose to marry into the monarchy that has an imperialistic history and then decide to complain and talk about racism is besides me. That's what I will say to Kelly Goff. That's how I genuinely feel about it. As a woman of colour, you can't compare a disenfranchised woman of colour's experience with someone of Meghan Markle's stature. And at that point, I'm actually going to get off this note of race because there's another issue, poverty and abject poverty and a virus that has rampaged the world. Do we really need to hear about Meghan Markle and Harry and how much they've suffered at a time like this. I really feel that this interview summarises Meghan Markle and Harry. It summarises them in one self-obsessed narcissist. Now I've read various comments 
where Megan has been called a narcissist. And I've never actually used that language myself. But I feel both her and Harry, I think they are very selfish and extremely privileged individuals. To talk about racism, which is something that really doesn't apply to Meghan Markle, when we think about what happened with George Floyd, when you think about children starving, when you think about abject poverty, and you think of all of those issues, she claims to be the voice for the voiceless. I say Meghan Markle and Harry are a voice for their self and their privilege. And this whole spin was planned before she even walked down the aisle. I have been informed by and in that that is exactly the case. Meghan Markle was making plans, in fact, three years ago. And that sheds a whole new light on things, guys. But like I always say, like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time, bye for now.